In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build a $50,000 per month social media marketing agency via sales funnel for your business in four days or less. And this is a proven sales funnel that we use in our agency right now. And if you're new here, my name is Max. I run an SNMA, a super niche marketing agency. And on this channel, we explore how to start, run, and grow a successful marketing agency that can help us produce great results for our clients. It also helps us as the entrepreneur to achieve financial time and location freedom. So without further ado, let's just dive right into the video. But before we do that, make sure that you watch this video in double speed if you want to save yourself some time. These videos are pretty long and value packed. So if you just want to save yourself some time, you can watch it in double speed. All right, so we're inside of my computer right now. So I'm going to go over a presentation and yeah, let's just dig into it. All right, so here's what I'm going to cover. First of all, why and when you need an actual VSL funnel for your business. Then I'm going to go over the structure of a VSL funnel, then some great tools to use to be able to accomplish this. And then a live example, what we use in our agency right now. And then finally a summary. So let's start with point number one why and when you need an actual funnel. This is very, very important. So the first thing is like, what is a VSL funnel? Well, it stands for video sales letter. So it's a VSL funnel and you basically do a pitch presentation in a video. So I'm going to show you more in detail what that is and what it looks like a little bit later in the video, but it's mainly used for paid traffic sources. You mainly need a funnel for paid traffic sources to guide a visitor from a prospect to a lead, to a book call, then to ultimately to a new customer and to a sales call, right? But it can also be used for organic traffic. And in my opinion, if you're just starting out, it's not mandatory to use a VSL funnel. You don't have to use it. It's not mandatory. But when you do paid traffic, it's definitely mandatory. And truth be told, if you're just starting out, just get those first one to three clients and then build a VSL funnel. But again, again, you can build one now if you want to. The next thing I want to talk about, like why you actually need a VSL funnel. Well, when you're on ads to your offer, you don't want to drive traffic to a homepage of a website, right? Instead, what you want to do is you want, you want a specifically built funnel on your website that will guide a visitor step by step closer to your desired outcome. So if you run paid traffic to homepage of your website, let's say there will be a ton of different ways that they can do right, they can click on the contact page about page, they can read, they can watch a video, they can do, go to your blog or whatever it might be, they can click off to your social media profiles, etc, etc. And you don't want that to happen when you drive paid traffic to specific promotion. That's why you build a specific landing page. And on that landing page normally just have one action that they can do. For example, they can click to sign up for a free PDF or join the newsletter or watch a VSL funnel or watch a free case study or whatever it might be. So that's why you want to build a separate page or a funnel that you use when you drive paid traffic to your specific offer to your business. And when should you build a VSL funnel for your business? Well, you can build a VSL funnel when launching your agency. However, it's not necessary. I recommend getting your first one to three clients organically first before you build a funnel or start with paid ads. You basically want to get a proof of concept and want to get some cash flow initially. And then you can scale your agency with the VSL funnel plus paid traffic, for example, Facebook or YouTube ads or whatever traffic source you may now want to use. But I hope that makes sense. So before you start to buy ads and build a funnel, you want to select a niche, have a specific service and one specific offer that you sell, right? That's what I talk about on this channel all the time. An SMA, a super niche marketing agency. So let's say you're going to help gym owners with YouTube ads, let's say get your first client, then your second client, then your third client. If you have three clients that you've been able to sell your offer to, that means that you have something that people actually want. And if you can deliver results to them, you have a media bar, let's say that's helping you and have a video on that as well. So your customers are actually satisfied. Now you have two very good indicators that your offer is scalable. Number one, people actually want to buy it and you can prove that because you've sold it to customers. And number two, you have a service that actually delivers results. So now you can put money from the business into ads, drive the traffic to VSL funnel and then scale the agency. So again, it's not mandatory in the beginning, but it's a very useful tool when you want to scale it essentially. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is that funnels can vary. So from business to business, from service to service and offer to offer sales funnels vary. So how you build your sales funnel for an agency or for your agency is most likely very different from how you build a funnel for one of your customers, let's say, because the sales process and the buying process is very different for different businesses and different services. So what I mean by that, when I build a sales funnel, for my agency, it's going to be a very different sales funnel from what I use to my client. Hopefully that makes sense because I get a lot of people asking me like what type of funnel should I build for my clients and so forth. And truth be told, I don't have experience in all of the niches out there. I'm just focusing on one niche, my SNMA, my super niche marketing agency. And the best way to figure out what works for your clients is just to find a media buyer that has experience in that niche and that leverage that media buyer in your agency. And again, I have another video that you can watch on my channel regarding that. But now let's dig into the structure of a VSL funnel and let me show you exactly how a VSL sales funnel should be built for your agency essentially. So everything starts 
starts with traffic, right? So this can either be organic traffic, but mostly here we're talking about paid traffic, right? So either you're like maybe running TikTok ads for agency or Google ads or YouTube ads or Facebook ads or Instagram ads or LinkedIn ads or whatever it might be. Everything starts with traffic. And when, when you drive this traffic, you don't wanna try, drive it to a homepage as mentioned, you wanna drive it to a landing page. And when you build this landing page, you can use different type of tools to build the actual funnel or the landing page and so forth. Uh, two of the most popular one, or I would say ClickFunnels is like the most popular one, but one tool that is starting to get a lot of traction as well right now is High Level. And High Level is actually something we use in our agency. It's a great tool for local businesses in my opinion, or that's what type of client that we have. You can connect to Google My Business and so forth. And High Level basically helps you to do multiple different things in one software. And I'm not going to go in depth into High Level in this video, because they have a ton of features that you can talk about. But to build the landing page, essentially, you can use click funnels. You can also use high level. We're currently using both in our agency right now. And then once you have your traffic, you drive that traffic to a landing page. The next step, once the opt in on that landing page, and again, I'm going to show you a live example of this here in just a minute. Once they've opted in, you want to drive them to a VSL, a video sales letter. So basically a pitch deck or a presentation about your agency, how you help your clients, case studies, etc, etc. And the pitch that you're doing in this VSL is that you want people to book a call essentially. And to be able to build this VSL, it's basically a presentation. So right now when I record this video, right, I'm recording it using a keynote. So you can either use keynote if you have a Mac or you can use PowerPoint if you have a Microsoft computer. And then you can obviously record it with whatever tool you want to. Normally when we post things on the internet for our agency, we use Loom com I'm going to talk about loom here in just a second but you basically build a presentation with keynote or PowerPoint and then you can record the actual VSL using using loom it's free to use as well super simple it's a great tool that's what I recommend for that and then the next step in the funnel is that you drive them to a booking page and for booking or online scheduling you can either use calendly which is very common it's a great tool but high level it's also viable to, to do that so if you use high level to build your funnel your landing page and your opt-ins and service and so forth you they also have a booking solution inside of high level as well that's kind of the thing with high level that they have multiple different solutions in one software instead of having multiple different softwares right but yeah um we've used both in our agency it works great if you're starting out and you just want to get some online bookings i recommend using calendly it's a great tool but if you want to use like everything on one roof high level is a great tool for that and i might do a video on high level in the near future here and then the next step is it's actually confirmation page so if we take it from the beginning beginning now, right? You, they see, they saw your ad on Facebook, let's say they clicked on the ad, we took them to the landing page, they opt in for your case study, then we drive them to the actual case study or to the VSL, the video sales letter, the actual video presentation, then we took them to a booking page, they booked an actual appointment and now we take them to a confirmation page just to confirm that their booking has been gone through, that we're going to see them on this day and time, etc., etc. And normally what I do on this confirmation page as well is that I record a separate video, just thanking the, the prospect for booking a call. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to get an email with the details regarding the Zoom call, etc., etc. So it's just a nice touch to have a video on that confirmation page as well. I'm going to show you a live example here in just a second. And then finally is that you just do the actual sales call. And I highly recommend doing video meetings, like online conferencing calls. When you do your sales calls, uh, we use Zoom in our agency, but you can use like Google Meets or uh, Microsoft Teams as well. And if you want to learn, learn more about like how to do sales calls and how to do sales presentations and how to do pitch deck for your agency, I have a video on my channel walking you through exactly how we do it in our agency, exactly what our pitch deck looks like, what questions we ask on the sales call, etc., etc. But this is basically the structure of a VSL funnel traffic to landing page, to VSL page or video or presentation. At the end of the video, we ask them to book a call, they book a call and we drive them to a confirmation page and then the sales process. And the really cool thing about a VSL funnel like this as well is that you can calculate all of the different metrics and all of the different KPIs the key performance indicator. You can see, for example, obviously how much you pay per click on the traffic side of things. You can see how many people opt in on your landing page. You can do an A-B test to try and improve. So maybe start off with 10% of all the visitors become a lead, but then you can A-B test it up to 20 or 25 or even 30% and all so on and so forth. Uh, you can also track your VSL, how, how many people view your actual video, how many people click through to your booking page, how many people book, etc., etc. So you can get a cost per click, a cost per lead, a cost per 
booked call and then at cost per sale as well. So this is really how you use direct response advertising to, to make sure that you can track everything from your paid ads. That's also the reason why you don't want to run paid traffic or ads to the homepage because you can't track anything. You have no idea kind of what happens with that traffic. But when you have a funnel like this, you have different steps that you can track everything step by step, how much you pay for all these different metrics that we are looking for, etc. So now let's go continue to some great tools to use. And I've already mentioned them, but I thought we would dive into them a bit more. And then after that, I'm going to give live examples. So first of all, obviously the funnel builder, we like to use click funnels or high level are two great tools. So actually let's open that up and let's just go to, uh, let's see here. If you go to click funnels, I can just walk you through kind of what this is. Maybe you already uh, have heard about click funnels, but it's basically clickfunnels.com. You can sign up and the pricing for this, I think is like $90 or $80 per month. And that is if you sign up per year, if you do monthly plans, it's $97 per month. But click funnels has been around for a long time now and it's used by some of like, and it's used by some of the biggest brands in the world and so forth. Um, in this video, obviously I'm not gonna show you exactly how to build everything step-by-step, -step, click by click, uh, but they have a ton of tutorials how to actually build a funnel. It's very easy to do. It's like a click, it's like a drag and drop funnel builder. Uh, but yeah, it's a great tool. And obviously the other tool that I mentioned is gohighlevel.com. They don't have too much information information on their actual uh, what you can kind of see what's included on their website. Um, high level is a great tool. And they have a free trial that you can use if you want to. Um, however, the, the, the barrier to entry kind of how to learn everything. It's pretty hard, actually, like when I signed up to high level, I, I knew, I'm sitting in front of my computer pretty much all day, right. And I, I'm working with different tools and CRM systems and so forth. But it took me a long time actually to figure out how to use high level. That's just something I wanted to throw out there and mention. But you can definitely go to gohighlevel.com check everything out. They have a 14 day free trial. You can also see kind of what's included here in their different packages. Uh, so you can white label everything kind of put your own brand into onto the software and then resell it to your customers and so forth. Uh, but yeah, that's a great tool as well that you can look into if you want to. However, if you want to get the funnel up immediately and kind of just build a funnel and don't have all of this extra stuff from high level, I would recommend going with click funnels. If you really want to use a tool for more things in your agency, and that might be something that you do later in your journey, then you can look into high level. It's obviously a bit more expensive from like how to $500 per month to use high level. Uh, for online bookings, I use Calendly or high level. So in high level here, they have a solution for online bookings as well. But uh, Calendly is something that a lot of people use that is working really well. So it's calendly.com. It's a very simple tool. It's uh, they basically allow you to build online scheduling and you can connect your Google Calendar to this and so on and so forth. Uh, it's pretty straight to the point as well. They have a ton of tutorials and how to sign up as well. And I'm going to give you a live example kind of what this will look like inside of a funnel here in just a sec. That is Calendly. Then record and host videos. I recommend using Loom. So if we open up a incognito window here. I can show you what Loom is. I talk about Loom quite a bit on this channel actually. And what you can do with Loom is that you can record videos and host them on the internet and then get a link and send it to whoever you want to. They basically record a video, you can show your face, you can share your screen and you basically just, I have Loom right here. So you press start recording, you record your video. Once you're done, you click stop and then it uploads to the internet in like one second and then you get a link that you can send or some code that you can host on your website. So instead of, you know, recording it on your computer, getting it on an SD card and into your computer and edit it and then upload it to YouTube and waiting, yada, yada, yada. Everything just happens instant with Loom. It's a great tool. We use it all the time in our agency. We'll show it uh, an example for that here in just a second. And then for online meetings, I like to use Zoom. That's what we like to use. And the reason why we use online meetings instead of just a normal phone call. Again, if you want to learn more, more about how to do sales in your agency, we have videos about that on my YouTube channel as well, how to build the pitch deck and so forth. But I'm sure you know what Zoom is, but it's basically zoom.com, right? Um, you can either use this or you can use uh, Google Meets or Microsoft Teams. It's just, you know, just up to your own preference, really, what you like to use and kind of the feel you want to have in your agency. Or if you use, you use a lot of other types of Google stuff, you can use Google or if you use a lot of of Microsoft things, you can use Microsoft, right? So but that's up to you. Um, and then finally, for presentations, I simply use Apple Keynote as I do in this video right now. Uh, I have a Mac, so I use Apple Keynote. And if you want to build a Microsoft or if you have a PC, maybe a Microsoft PowerPoint is better for you. And you can check out my pitch deck video for more information. So uh, I have 
will have a link about that in my description down below. So if you want to learn how to build the presentations and how to do pitch deck and all of that, I have a separate video on that essentially. But now let's continue. So let's do a live example for my own agency and let me show you exactly what a VSL funnel can look like. So this is one of our VSL funnels that we're testing right now. It looks like this. It's pretty simple, right? So um, we have our logo and then we're just stating full roofing and solar CEOs. We also have a, a headline that we're A-B testing right now, like the new method we use to generate $20 leads and $80 booked appointments uh, for roofing and solar CEOs with real homeowners that are actually interested and ready to buy. Then we have like a video here playing with just different results. And then we have a sub headline, so free case that reveals how to create a full pipeline of $20 leads, the secret $80 per appointment technique, the new unknown three-step marketing system and how to find ready to buy homeowners in your area or something like that, right? And then get your case study now. They can click here. They can uh, basically says unlock free case study, enter your name and email to watch this free case study video. They put in their first name, last name and email. And once that is done, we basically take them to our video page. And this is our VSL video essentially. So here you can see me, it's an eight minute video. And uh, in this video, I basically recorded it using Loom, but then I've uploaded to a tool called Vistia. Um, and here, for example, if I do the speed in, in double speed, you can see my presentation here. I'm basically walking through um, some results and then I go through our marketing system here, kind of how it works the funnel, etc., kind of what's included in our offer. Then we go over some results and case studies that we've done. Uh, and then at the end, I talk about who we are and then our requirements. We only work with roofing and solar business owners. You need to make at least $1 million per year. And then I have a call to action at the end. So click the link below. You know, if you want to learn more about this, if you think this is a good solution for your business, click the link below and book your strategy session or discovery call or marketing session or whatever you want to call it. They click on this button. We take them to our online calendar page. We use high level for this. We used Calendly in the past. They can basically go here, select the day and the time. And one of our sales reps uh, will jump on a call with them essentially. On, when here, when they jump on here, want to book a call with us, we ask them for their name, last name, email, phone number, business name, their business website. Are you the business owner? Yes or no? Do you have the infrastructure in place and written, ready to handle growth? Yes or no? What is your current yearly revenue? Less than 1 million or one to three million, three to 10 million, more than 10 million. We don't take calls with anybody making less than $1 million per year. Uh, and can you invest in your business growth right now? And then finally, what makes your business unique? Why do homeowners hire you over a competitor? Uh, and then they basically put this in. And what that once that is done, we take them to a confirmation page. So here, we are basically just having a another a Loom video, as you can see here. We basically tell them like, thank you. This is what's going to happen next. So I have a video recorded for that. We have some video testimonials and some more results here for our agency. And that is basically our sales funnel. So I'm, I'm sure that makes sense to you, kind of how it works. It's like we walk them through like step by step, click by click, kind of the route that we want them to take. It's a traffic to landing page, to VSL, to booking page, to confirmation page and then we jump on a sales call and then again we can track all of these different steps so it's very good to have this when you run paid traffic for your agency if you don't run paid traffic it's a nice thing to have but it's definitely not mandatory if you do organic outreach let's say you can skip really uh, the t first two steps, right? So you, or you do, or the traffic will be the organic part, but instead of driving them to a landing page where you ask them to opt in, you can drive them directly to a VSL presentation, or even you can drive the organic traffic directly to the booking page immediately because you're talking to the person one-on-one, -on -one, right? Uh, hopefully that makes sense. If you want to learn more about like a funnel for the organic traffic, let me know. And I might do a video on that. Um, but that's basically it. So let's do the summary now for this video. So first of all, a VSL funnel, it's not mandatory, right? Um, in the beginning, at least. Focus on getting your first one to three clients, get a proof of concept. Once you know that your offer sells and you get results for your clients, that's when you can start to scale it with ads. And when you want to scale it with ads, that's when you need a VSL funnel essentially, right? And then leverage the market or leverage the knowledge from your market when you create your VSL, right? So when creating your VSL video and landing page, leverage the desires from the actual market. Like use what you learn from your prospects and clients in your VSL funnel. So what I mean by that, before you build your sales funnel and build your presentation, you need to know how to talk the lingo of your market essentially, right? And the only way to start to learn what your client wants, what they need, what, the, what they desire, is just to talk with the business owners in your actual niche, right? That's also why I recommend doing the organic outreach first and get some sales calls coming from organic because on those sales calls, that's what you're going to learn, what your market needs, what, what they desire, what they fear, what they don't like, what they've tested in the past. 
And so get your first one to three clients with organic. You're going to learn a ton about your market. And then once you have this annual mission and you know what your market wants, needs and desires and so forth, that's when you can create a really, really good and powerful resell presentation. And then that's also when you can create really good ads that you can drive traffic to essentially. Um, yeah, so mention what they want, fear and desire, and also be unique in your VSL. Don't copy anybody else or anything. It, it's not going to work. Uh, so be unique, do your own research and put your own twist on it. And that's the best thing you can do essentially. So that's basically it for this video. And I have a final quote here for this video that I thought was uh, very good. So success can be attained in any branch of human labor. There is always room at the top in every pursuit. And this was Andrew Carnegie who said this. Uh, he's like the mastermind behind Napoleon's his Hill's work. He started the uh, the biggest steel industry in the US essentially. He was the richest man in the world when he lived. But I thought this is very, very important to mention and it applies to our social media marketing agency journey a ton, right? Because a lot of people are scared to jump into certain niches because they're scared of the competition essentially. And let me tell you this. So in every single niche that you're going to try, there's going to be competition. There's really no way around it. The thing is that you can always be smarter than your competitors in certain aspects. You can position yourself and your offer in different ways so that, we, so that you are very unique and can, provi and can provide better results for your clients. Because at the end of the day, the only thing your clients want when they hire a marketing agency is a really, really good result. That's how you can charge more money, keep your clients for longer and so forth. But let me give you an example. So let's say you are going to go into the dentist niche and you think that the niche is overcrowded and there's a ton of agencies in there helping dentists with their ads. And that's true, right? There's a lot of people helping dentists with their advertising, but maybe most of those agencies are doing Google ads or Facebook ads. And most of them are not doing, for example, YouTube or TikTok ads. So by just simply doing that positioning or positioning your agency that way, meaning starting an SNMA, a super niche marketing agency, and you're telling dentists that you're only going to help dentists with TikTok ads. TikTok ads is new. Not a lot of dentists have tried TikTok ads or, or you're going to help dentists with YouTube ads, which is also something new. By just mentioning that in your offer, you're going to be unique and different from most other agencies out there. And if TikTok ads work really well for dentists, that I'm sure that it does because TikTok is growing every single day. They have all of the age groups on there. And since not a lot of people are advertising on TikTok right now, probably the prices are a bit lower. I don't know. I haven't done it that much, but I'm just starting to, I just want to get your brain to start thinking here, right? And this is what he means as well, Andrew Carnegie with this quote, that even though it's very overcrowded in the dentist net, let's say, but if you're getting to the top, providing really, really great results for your specific clients, it doesn't really matter if you have a lot of competitors because you will be unique. You will, be, you will have a unique offer. You, you will be a specialist and you will provide great results for your clients and that's all that matters. So there's always room at the top in every pursuit keep that in mind. All right, so that's basically it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and following along on the journey because I'm posting videos here on this channel every single day, five shorts and two longer form videos. I'm giving away as much free information as I possibly can. And if you want to learn some more as well, join up to my newsletter on my site and uh, you can check that out, maxpearson.com. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, following along on the journey. Uh, I'm going to take this channel big. So yeah, following along on the journey and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. See you in the next video.